Okay, I'm gonna give you two neck exercises that I'm currently doing for my own neck because I get a bit of a sore neck at the computer and riding the bike, and it's due to stiffness and a bit of weakness. So these exercises, one's gonna cover mobility and one's gonna cover strength. Two simple things that I'm doing currently to try and help this problem. Now, sometimes if I'm at a computer for too long or if I'm sort of sitting for too long and I lose my posture a bit and I start slumping and slouching, my head will go forward. Now this is like, this might look familiar for you. If you sort of slump, your head goes forward. I get stiff around about the sort of C7, T1 down there. Now when that gets stiff, and there's obviously when it gets stiff and you hold that position for too long, it gets weak, you start getting problems like neck pain and headaches, which is what I get. So if that's there for too long, I start getting problems. So what I'm gonna try and do is work on the mobility for this part to try and get myself looser because the, the big thing is when you get tight you get weak and then if it's too tight it's you know, hard to get in the back in that good posture again so I'm working on getting that released off I'll show you that with a foam roller so if I'm looser I'll be able to hold myself more upright if I'm stronger I'll be able to hold myself more upright then I won't get the back pain or the neck pain okay so let's have a look at this what I do is use my trusty foam roller and I use that for cervical retraction extension. Now retraction extension is this movement where you're retracting and extending. Now, if you're one of those people who've got a stiff neck and it's a bit sore around about there, you'll probably find when you try and do this yourself, you get the point where you don't want to go backwards. It's sort of like, oh, that hurts. And that's those muscles going into spasm plus a little bit of jamming through there. So we try and take the muscles and the sort of gravity out of the equation by going down on the foam roller. Now, where I place this is not in the thoracic, where your shoulder blades are. It's not resting your neck on and just lying there. What I do is I use my body and lift myself up a little bit until I'm just below that sort of C7T1. So I'm just below the bump, if you like. If you feel where that bump is, you should be able to put your hand behind your back and still feel the bump above the roller. Now, You've got to make sure you've got a bit of a grippy t-shirt because this can sort of slip a little bit. So make sure that roller's not too slippy. Get it to the point where it's just above that bump and then hold it there. Now, one hand is going to go behind, I'll show you this hand. One hand's going to be behind the head because I want that sort of neck relaxed. I want you having to hold your neck up all the time because you can get really sort of fatigued if you do that. So hand around the back of your neck and then relax your neck, all right? So from that point, what I want you to do is not just look backwards, I want you to chin in like that with this retraction part. Now you should find that feels okay. When you chin like that, there's no, no gravity going on, holding your head up. I'm holding my head up with my head, my hand I should say. Then from there, I'm gonna let myself go into extension, carefully, nice and easy, right to the point where the back of my head can rest on the roller. All right? And then I can rest there, maybe for sort of 10 seconds or so. Then I can adjust the roll a little bit to just make sure I'm absolutely perfectly in the right spot. And to bring my head forward again, use my hand, pull it forward, back to neutral. All right, so let's try that again. So instead of just extending, it's retraction, which gets a little bit of lower cervical extension. Then it's extension of the whole neck. So full cervical spine extension. Then let the hand go so the head's resting on the back of the roller. Make sure it doesn't hurt. Give it a stretch for 10 seconds or so. Don't go there for too long. And then pull it forward like that. Now that's two reps. I do about 10 of those. Okay, maybe two sets of that. That's a daily thing. So that's gonna help me loosen up this area here that I've been tightening up from terrible posture. Okay, so Imagine like, yes, it's all well and good holding good posture up, but if you're weak and tight, it's pretty difficult to do, and if you're still in pain, you've got to get rid of that. That's going to help immensely. It's also going to give me a bit more mobility when I'm on the bike. So if I'm down on my aero bars, so if you imagine if I'm on a bike and I'm down my aero bars, to look forward like that, I need that extension. Okay? If I'm tight and weak, one, I won't be able to get there because it's too stiff. If I'm weak in there, I won't be able to hold it. So it's gonna give me aching, all right? So being on a bike for an hour, two hours, three hours, is gonna be really difficult if you've got stiff and weakness there. So that is gonna really gonna help me get the mobility part. Now the strengthening part, 
that's when a band comes in. And again, these things, you've got to keep them simple, right? Otherwise you don't do them. So grab a flat TheraBand. So what I mean by a flat one, so not a tubing one, a flat one like this, okay? That's gonna go around the back of your head for resistance. So I go into prone, get that foam roll away. This one goes around the back of my head like this. And I go down into prone lying like this. Now, hopefully you can still hear me, but this position here, what I'm gonna do is place one hand on the TheraBand either side to anchor it down. I'm then gonna go and do the same drill just not as much extension. So I want to retract first, which is going to get all my muscles through the back of my spine working on, and then I want a little bit of extension looking for just. Now that's, I'm going to hold that for between 10, 20, even up to 30 seconds in that position, okay? And then once I've done that time, drop down, full release. A couple of tips on this. If you look at my lower back, I want to actually keep it in neutral. So try and not just let it sag into extension like that and jam up. You want to tilt back posterior a little bit so your core's on and your glutes are on and it keeps you in neutral here, all right? So keep that on while you're doing this. Retract, so your head's fully away from the ground and then look backwards. You can see I tilt my head a bit, so extension. So I'm going from retraction to a little bit of extension and that's going to get all those muscles switched on to hold my head in that position, which is the strength I need for sitting, posture, riding a bike, that sort of thing, and just holding it for 10, 20 seconds, 30 seconds maybe, and then down again. And I'll do quite a few reps of that while we're talking about eight to 10 reps of that, those isometric contractions. Now, I'm doing isometric because that's what I need, that's how the muscle performs when I'm on the bike or when I'm sitting at a computer for hours doing videos is making sure that those muscles are getting trained the way I need them to perform. So for me, there's no use point doing heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of reps. It's about isometric holds to try and train the brain and the muscles to hold my sort of neck in a good position, give the strength in that position so I can last for say endurance when you are sitting, when you're cycling. So there's my two that I'm doing currently. If you've got a problem like that, I hope that helps. See you next time.